And I've got this kind of at an angle to take the glare off, but this is uh, my latest addition to the shop. My, my wife uses iPads at work and um, she got a new one and they let her keep the old one, so uh, I was lucky enough to inherit it. But you can see here I've got a, my drawing and the detailed uh, parts list here of the sizes I need. Uh, and then I've also got detailed drawings of each of the individual pieces. But this comes in real handy so I can just reference this and know that I've got to uh, rip my sides. I'm going to rip them a little bit long, probably 15 or 15 and a half. Then do my uh, front and back at about probably 11 and a half. And then get them squared up and identical before I do my uh, top and bottom. All right, I got my two sides, um, and they turned out fantastic. And the front and the uh, back. Now these are nearly the finished width, but I need to make a rip cut at the same time as I do these to finish width, which is ten and a half. And I am just a thirty second over on these, so I'm going to set up my saw at a ten and a half run these at uh, at that width then make my rip cut on my long piece there before I cross cut it to length for the top and bottom all right so the secret to getting this you know a, a really nice box build is to get everything exactly the same so I know these four pieces are 11 inches at 11 inches And I know this, ten and a half, is the same as this, which is going to be my top and bottom. Okay, so I'm looking at my right, the box side right, and I see here that this is the, this is a through cut on my router bit, so I mark that. This one is where the sliding top goes all the way out to the front. This is stopped and through. And then it's stopped between the two pieces there. I hope you can see that. I'll show you that again here. So there's my, there's my design. And then I just hand drew these basically to mimic what I see there. So now I'm going to take and do the do the left side which I know know is a mirror image so if this is the back that means it would go this way this is the through data on the back and I've got to get rid of that uh, I gotta get rid of that square mark so I don't get confused by that. So this goes like this. This is the top. Which means it extends out through this way. Just like that. So that's a mirror image. Then on the bottom coming down here this goes all the way through to the bottom and then we have our connecting cut here so I should have mirror images which is this way And that is correct. These new L stops are just uh, making this so easy. So I take my my start point here, put that over the bit. That, that's actually going to be my stop point. Sorry. Bring my stop up, lock it down. 
Now I can run this piece. confident that that's right where I want to be. So uh, I've got a stop set up here. Bring my fence back to its original position. And that's good. So I should be good to go for this last cut. I'm trying to think of what cut I messed up on. It's the bottom, which is good. Uh, if I'm going to mess up, I can hide that. That'll be hidden by the bottom and the glue joint won't. It won't have any effect, and the and the depth of cut won't show up. If it was up here on the on the sliding lid part, I would have a problem to deal with. I'll show you the worst one here. This is where the bit was creeping up. And here's where it stopped, and this is what it, the depth it should be at. And you can see that's a pretty good jump there. That's that's probably about a between a sixteenth and an, it might even be an eighth. Let me just see here. Yeah, it's probably an eighth. But like I said, luckily this will be all all be hidden, and uh, I won't have to worry about that too much. The other one is not so bad. That is right there. 
you can just hear that one. That's not bad at all. When this is what they should sound like. No, no ridges at all. Just walk it right around. All right. Well, that's 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 okay. Uh, thought I had that bit nice and snug, but lesson learned.